And what happened to me in this class was a, was a paradigm shift. It was a shift from an individualistic kind of model of living out my own personal salvation to a more communal salvation, a salvation for all. It became less about me and more about God. I wasn't at the center of my own story. I wasn't at the center of my own world, but rather I was a participant of God's story. And God's story is about love. And in God's story, all are welcome, all are loved, all are participants. What was once transactional truly became transformational. In verse 23, Jesus talks about making a home in us. It says, we will make our home in you. In this home, we are invited to dwell with Father, Son, and Spirit. This is a home filled with mutual respect that celebrates diversity, is filled with love and inclusivity. All are welcome because of what Jesus did on the cross. We are being invited to share in this divine flow. The Holy Spirit as our advocate is there to usher us in and remind us of God's love and grace and to teach us that we are good enough and worthy enough. This is how we re remain in this flow as life gets hard and tries to pull us away. The Holy Spirit there, the Holy Spirit is there to remind us, come back into that flow. You are good enough, you are worthy enough. God's grace is, is, is it will cover a multitude of sins. We are a part of this divine connection, this divine flow. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I want you to use your imagination, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes again as I end here. Close your eyes. And I want you to imagine this flow, whatever it looks like to you. There's a Father and the Son and the Spirit and they're just flowing. And there's love and there's inclusivity and there's diversity and there's respect. And then what I want you to do is I want you to enter that flow. You are part of that flow. How does that make you feel? How does that feel in your body? Okay. You know, looking back, I think what I was trying to do was to be equipped when I went to seminary to create a safe space, a space where I where we can receive God's love for all. And to never ever feel like how I felt growing up in church. That was my dream, right? And so to be standing before you today on RIC Sunday with my wife and my family celebrating inclusivity, truly, truly, truly my dream has come true. So thank you. Thank you.